Hey fans, welcome to Chicago Soccer Talk with Colin. I am really excited to talk about a bonus episode. I not plan on doing one, but after the shocking news on Monday, I decided why not let's go ahead with a bonus episode for this week, which will talk about the Chicago Fire's huge news. So on Monday, the Fire made a huge announcement uh, coach Ezra Hendrickson has been fired. Ezra Hendrickson era is over. It began in the beginning of the 2022 season. Now, 11 games into the 2023 season, he has been removed. Shown the door. Gone. So Ezra Hendrickson is gone. I'll talk about a couple of reasons why he was fired in my opinion. So first... The six seasons have not been successful. The 2022 season, we ended up in 12th place, not close to the playoffs. George Height's opinion, ownership opinion, a big failure. Then this year, we're in 14th place in the Eastern Conference. And things are not going the best way at the moment. So Edward Hexton was fired. Rumors have come about that the relationship between George Heights and Isaac Hexen has soured as of late, which is a bit odd because not that long ago, the club made statements that the relationship between the players, the locker room, George Heights and ownership was very good, very warm. It's going well right now. George Heights loves Edrickson, but now, not good. I don't know what changed in the few weeks that it was enough that he was fired, but he is. So overall, the Ezra Hexen era, you could say on the surface, it was not successful, finishing in 12th, now still stuck in the basement in 14th. But I think he made some good moves. He did the best to cut off the roster that we had. So the fire roster was flawed. That is not up for debate. We had players such as Zero Security was brought in from Europe. He was supposed to be the magical piece we were missing, the superstar who was going to come in and change the fortunes for the club. But in all honesty, that's not happened. Is it because he's getting older? Is it because he was not used to the MLS style of play, used to European football, came in here and has not come to the way people expected it? Expected to come in and he'd be like, like unbelievable. He was going to be the fire's front man. He was going to light up the scoreboard with brilliant assists, goals no one's ever seen on the fire pitch. But instead, that's not happened. But he cannot be exclusively blamed, Jiren Shakiri. There's other mistakes as well. For example, George Heights' decisions in the designated player positions. To be honest, those have not been the best ideas for me. They haven't worked out. For example, Alceda has not worked out. He's gone. That didn't work. Other ones as well have been failures. Some of the roster decisions in terms of players which I just made have not worked. So count all those things up. So roster decisions, uh, decisions in general have not worked. So Ezra Hendrickson has a deal with those. But on the pitch, in terms of Lineup decisions, decisional tactics, for example, what defensive looks, uh, who's going to be in forwards, midfielders, that has been more Ezra Hexton's decisions for himself. But overall, those things have hurt him and his ability to lead the club to a successful campaigns. And I think ownerships and George Heights were scared about the Fire's fortunes. They made a fast move, 11 games in. Ezra Hexton is gone now. Do I think it was the best choice? No. He didn't get a lot of time to make the team under his own image. He was an assistant coach in Columbus. He has a lot of experience coaching as assistant in the MLS. Instead of giving more time, they fired him. And it's not going to be a memorable era by any means. One full season and not even half of a second season. But the Fire are notorious for not giving coaches a lot of time to get things out of control. Fun fact, out of the eight permanent coaches the Fire have had, 
only one coach had since 2007. Only one coach has lasted three full seasons, and that was Vijo Pananovic. He lasted from 2016 and 2019, then he was fired. But besides that, none of the other eight coaches we've had since 2007 lasted even three full seasons. So ownership and George Heights, he's not been like there since that long. But ownership definitely want to pull the gun. They don't want to give these coaches more time. They can't allow that. They're scared. Like, oh no, the team's in last. We got to make these explosive decisions. And I know in some sports, there's like the new coaching bump. The team is winning five games in a row. Yippee. Well, those don't always work. I don't think that's going to work in this decision. The roster is still flawed. And the coaching person they're bringing in already is on the club. So Frank Klopas, who's been the coach, like forever it seems, he's always waiting. He's like, when am I going to be the coach again? Well, he's coming back for interim position. He was the coach when Raphael Wicke was fired. He was the coach before that, like head time coach, head coach before. And a fun fact, I saw at MLS.com, he's been the head coach for all of the different logos and insignias the Fires have had. So the original Fire logo, he was that coach. The one that was disgusting, that I loathed, he was that coach. Now this current one, which I like. So he's been the head coach all three different logos, which is kind of funny, fun fact. And in terms of Ezra Henriksen rating, it's got to be poor. Well, not poor, but not like sensational. But I can't blame it all on him. It's not all his fault. Some of the mistakes have been his fault, yes. But I'm not giving all the blame for Ezra. I think he should get hired as head coach soon. A different club is going to give him more time, more abilities to get things for himself like under his reign not somebody waiting like I need to make every single move make sure he doesn't have control that's not what I'm looking for so hopefully he gets hired he definitely should be but he chose the wrong club they couldn't wait and he's gone so out of 10 mm, 5 out of 10 I would say average performance around there Nothing memorable. I'm not going to remember the era in T minus five minutes, probably. But I wouldn't say it was an F, like zero out of 10. No way. Probably five out of 10. So I wish him all the best. Wish him luck in his next position in the MLS or in a different league. And overall, hopefully the fire can get things back under control. Most likely this season will be a wash. We'll have to wait for the next season. Hopefully George Heights is fired, in my opinion. I think he's been here long enough. He's made enough poor decisions and mistakes that he needs to be fired. Because if the fire really want to make a whole new era, change the fortunes for the club, they need to fire George Heights, get a new interim coach, uh, so or a full coach, actually. No, a uh, head coach. So a new head coach. So once Frank Klopas finishes the season, they need George Heights to be fired, then get a new head coach, make some decisions on the players. For example, is your insecurity is going to work out or should they cut their losses, wish him the best and get new players? Because getting these players who are young is a really good move, like Brian Gutierrez, Rico Navarro, Miguel Navarro. Players who are young, very good move. But some of these stopgap veterans has not worked out. And swinging for the fences can be good at times, but these are not working. Getting your insecurity... Kai Kamara looks sexy, like, oh yeah, those are the moves I want. But they're not working. Kai Kamara is a great player, but I don't think he's fitting the best in this club. He fit, he'd definitely be a good club for like a half a season on right to the squad, ready to make the playoffs. But a team that's almost dead last, no. And Shakiri's great, but I think maybe he's more of a supporting role player at the moment. Or maybe in Europe, he's still going to be successful. But I just think he's the figure man front of MLS club towards the bottom. With not a lot of talent on the wings with him, it's just not working out. So overall, hopefully the fire can turn things around. Most likely next season, not this season. I don't want the club to make a lot of moves and 
a transfer market, it'll be like, we're going to make it as the knife seed. And then it gets easily defeated in the first round. Like, that's a failure. That's not what I want. I want them to make moves that help the future. Because at this point, let's be honest, it's over. So George Hyde's fired. Maybe Shakiri gone. Or at least try to make the moves that help him the best if he's staying here. And a new head coach who can help this club be led to a new era. So thank you for listening to this bonus episode. Really enjoyed making it. Thanks for being a fan of Chicago Stock, Chicago Colin. See you next time on the YouTube show. Have a good week. Thank you so much.